Oh my God, what a incredibly stupid video I'm about to make. It is a stupid video, but one in some way I find quite necessary. You see, if you act civil towards somebody, if you act cordial to somebody, even if you are right and completely and undisputedly and undoubtfully destroy somebody to the point where they admit that they're wrong and concede their argument, well, you're soft. And yet, unfortunately, I'm expected to yell, scream, and shout at somebody when they've all but thrown up the white flag. You see, I am very, very tired of YouTube. And when I mean tired of YouTube, I don't mean I'm not interested anymore. It's just that I don't have the energy nor the focus to put forth to it like I used to. So forgive me if I sound like an old man on YouTube and I like to calm down and let things come to me and R-E-L-A-X, relax. Now, we have this whole situation here when people are crying and complaining about me calling them losers. Patreon supporters. But before we even get to that, let me talk about Hard Eight Times and Jack Move Johnny. You see, I have never violated the rules of the Book of Bond. The Book of Bond rules have pretty much been straight through, thorough, followed to a T. But as of late, yeah, I will call myself out on it, claim that I violated two rules, and claim that Jack Move Johnny and Hard Eight Times are right. Because Hard Eight is right. For that one week when him and Jack Move Johnny were beefing, I changed. I was compromised. I was deluded. Because as Hard Eight said, when did Black Bond ever care about what other people think? And he's right. So he called me out on it, and he is 100% right. So if I've never cared what anybody else says or thinks, then why would I ever care about calling anybody a loser? And Jack Move Johnny, he's right too. He's right saying, I'm softer than ice cream. And you know why he's right? Because for a moment, I wasn't clowning people, destroying people, being the mayor that everybody comes to watch me for because of this thing called money. Holding my tongue, letting people say whatever they want to me without any recourse or repercussion because they were Patreon supporters, because they were donators. So the issue at hand right now is we have a group of, hell, I could not even name any one of them individually because you know it's me, it is what it is. But we have certain people that are whining and crying and complaining that I called them a bunch of losers despite donating on the Patreon. Now, if you've watched many of my prior videos or even the Weapon Wheel, I have thanked and appreciated the lot of you for supporting us here on the Weapon Wheel Podcast, for donating to us on the Weapon Wheel Podcast, for hell, even if you don't donate, just for coming to watch, hit the like button, spread the word, whatever. I've always said thank you, and I've always appreciated it. But now we have this one subset of Patreon donators who feel like, oh, now that I am a donator, I can just come at Black Bond however I want, and he can't do anything, and he has to take it. Because I am a donator, and I am giving them money, and because of that, I can say anything I want to this man without any repercussion or recourse. Well, I'm sorry to say that, unfortunately, that is not going to happen. Because unfortunately for you, I don't care if you donate to me, or if you donate to the podcast, or if you support us in any way, shape, or form. Because if you come at me with disrespect, 
and malice and whatever, I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to put you in to your place. Now, I am not calling the standard supporters, the people that like us, share us, watch us, whatever. I'm, you people are cool. I appreciate you. I thank you. Whatever. But again, just because you donate to this Patreon does not automatically give you immunity to talk shit to me and not have to worry about any kind of repercussions. It ain't happening. I don't care if you donate to me $5,000 or you donate to the Patreon $5,000. If you're talking crap, well, guess what? Loser, you're going to be put into your place. And it's funny. It's, it's really funny how you have a lot of people talking crap calling me soft. And yet when I call them a loser, they're the first ones to whine, cry, and bitch and moan about it. Like, for real, grow a spine. I don't care. I really don't. Now, Heart 8, the businessman, wants to say, who would put money in your pocket and talk trash at the same time? Hmm. Oh, really? Really? Because I could have sworn that MVP was donating to his Patreon. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. And I could have sworn that Resurrection donated to his Patreon and... Both of those people talked crap on me. There are plenty of people who donated to you, Heart 8, but talk crap on BG. There are plenty of people who wanted to donate to me, but they said, I don't want to donate to Kid Smooth because I don't like him. But what do I say? Look, man, I understand that you don't like one member of the podcast, whatever, but we are a team. And I understand you want to donate to me individually, but we are a team. So if you really want to support me, I understand you may not like all these guys. You may you might have some disdain for some of these guys. But if you really want to donate to me, you want to help me, then you know what? Support the podcast. Support the team. Support the group. Not everybody that likes the Cavaliers may like LeBron James. I don't know. Not everybody may like Darren Williams or Kevin Love. But if you like the team, support the team. So, and again, not everybody likes everybody so there are plenty of people putting money into the patreon that don't like me i can't tell you how many times people come to me and say oh i like you i donate to you but heart eight was sensitive and blocked me <laughs> it, it, it just is what it is so again just because you donate does not give you some license to try to talk crap and not have any consequences or repercussions. And the funny thing is, Jack, I mean, come on, Jack. Look at you. You thinking you can roast me? I'm going to take the high road because, again, you are in the under six foot club, so I'll take it easy on you. But I try to act civil, and you people have an issue with it. Then I turn back into the suburban savage and, oh, wait. Black Bond's being mean. We don't like that. That's not cool. F that man. Kick him out of the podcast. Like, you didn't know what I was about, how I was 100% real, barring two occasions I just admitted, from the start. Now, it's funny how Jack is going to tell me I need to apologize, this, that, and the third, after talking all this crap. Like, who, who are you? Of all people to tell me that I need to apologize. My man, if you can't afford next month rent and you get put out because I'm hampering or dampering something coming into you at the end of the month, beginning of the month, well, guess what? That's not my problem. That's your problem. So again, like I said, people want to talk crap to me, Patreon supporters, Jack Move Johnny, and then you want to tell me to apologize when I retaliate. Vice versa. I'm civil, and then you want to talk crap. So whether I'm mean or I'm civil, you want to talk crap. And then when I retaliate, you want me to apologize. Think about that right here. I'm too mean because I call you a loser. But I'm too nice 
when I was civil and let a man who admitted that his statement was completely false when I just said, you know what, fine. I don't need to jump down your throat. You admitted you were wrong. You waved the white flag. What more is it to say? So again, I'm too nice, you get upset. You attack me and I'm too mean, and then you get upset. All sides of you need to stop crying, for real. I'm mad, I'm the one triggered, right? I'm the one triggered, but you're telling me I need to apologize. And Heart 8, don't you ever dare apologize for me. If I want to apologize, I will apologize. But I'm triggered, yet you're asking me to apologize. I will never ask anybody watching to apologize. And again, I will apologize for this. If you are a donator and you're not one of these social reject clowns that are talking crap and acting like, oh, hey, I'm a donator so I can talk crap and you know what? He can't say anything to me. For you people that are cool, chill, civil, supporters, whatever, cool. I appreciate you and I will tell you every video, every other video that I thank you, I appreciate you, and I thank you for supporting this podcast. I thank you for supporting the team. I thank you for supporting whatever we're trying to do, this movement of Honest Gamers going. But for you social reject clowns that thought that just because you donate means that you have a license to talk any kind of good shit you felt like you wanted to after all this time, <laughs> hell no. I don't care if you donate, because if you're talking crap, regardless of your donation status, you are still going to get it. You are still going to be terrorized by the suburban savage. Donating a dollar, two dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, whatever, does not save you from being a disrespectful social reject clown, period. So for all you people whining and crying on Twitter to BG, Smooth, Hard 8, Jimmy, before you want to check me for my attitude, for my actions, maybe y'all need to check yourselves. Because if you want respect, you'll act with respect. Because if you're going to treat me with disrespect and whole, you already know I can get very, very disrespectful.